Oh, I, this is some of the best audio I have heard. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call it this right now before you before we even play it. This is the best audio of the NFL season thus far. Ooh, that is bold. I this is so delicious. You and delicious. All right. Well, you, what does that bother you, man? Well, still, right, I, you know what? It doesn't matter. We got to get to this. Right. Golden Tate on the radio today with Ryan and Rico in Detroit, 105.1, was asked about Jim Schwartz being carried off on the shoulders at the end of the Buffalo Bills beating his Detroit Lions. This was Golden Tate. I thought it was so disrespectful, so disrespectful, and I, I didn't like it at all, and if I, if I knew I wasn't going to get fined, I would have snatched him right down off his shoulders and threw him on the ground. You know, hopefully he feels better for, for doing it. So and, what do uh, you guys think about it? Well, I, actually, it. to be honest with you, Golden, uh, yesterday I, I came out here and I thought that was probably the biggest douchebag in all of professional <laughs> sports. All right. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to call a guy out, call him out. Zippon so, Vol 476-1045, Buffalo Bills fan, where you at? Where you at when you hear Golden Tate say this about Jim Schwartz? I thought it was so disrespectful. LeVac, here's the thing, okay? You got to remember. First of all, Jim Schwartz, he is a douchebag. Like, let's just be honest with the situation. Yeah, yeah. Jim Schwartz is a big old douchey. Yep. He is. But his defense stomped on you. Okay, yeah. But I, I mean, he is. He he is. He, <laughs> he, yeah, he ran after Harbaugh like, like you know, he was like yeah. some elf, like upset on the North Pole. Like, <laughs> I mean, come on. It, it's true. But, it, but I can understand why he's excited. Like, his squad got behind him. You and I talked about it. I used the word silly. I, yeah. I thought it was silly. I I didn't necessarily think it was disre- disrespectful. I I would not go that. I did not think. I thought it was a little silly. It was a little much. You don't need to do that. But look, this is a Buffalo. You got to remember this. This is a Buffalo Bills team that has been through so much yep. strife yep. in this past week. And you have EJ. This Manuel. whole se- this this off season, this season, all we're hearing about yeah. is you know they don't even they don't even know if they're going to be in Buffalo until a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and you have. The Bills saying we believe in EJ Manuel. They swap him out for Kyle Orton. I mean, this locker room just has to be a mess. And and for them, it's just an emotional mess. And for them to be in an opportunity where they beat the Lions, the Lions missed three field goals, the drama of the whole thing, a laser pointers in their eyes, for them to carry off Jim Schwartz when he goes back home to the Lions, where, let's be honest, he deserved to get fired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you go that far, disrespectful? I, I don't know, man. Like I look at the way that defense played, and they played. They played like they were. They were there to support him. Six, six sacks, eight tackles for loss, four quarterback hits. I mean, that defense played inspired, and maybe the the inspiration was Schwartz walked in and went, "Yo, they treated me bad in Detroit." So they were fired up. They grabbed their guy up, and and after they did what he needed them to do to 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 win for him. They carried him off the field. They gave him a hero's ending. Zappone phone, 476-1045, brought to you by Zappone Chrysler, Jeep Dodge Ram. Again, here's Golden Tate today in Chicago, uh, excuse me, Detroit, talking about uh, Jim Schwartz on the shoulders of the Buffalo Bills players uh, in the Motor City after the game. I thought it was so disrespectful, so disrespectful, and I, I didn't like it at all. And if I, if I knew I wasn't going to get fined, I would have snatched him right down off his shoulders. And throw him on the ground. You know, hopefully he feels better for, for doing it. So, and, what, uh, what do you guys think about it? I don't know well, I, actually, it. to be honest with you, Golden, uh, yesterday I, I came out here and I thought that was probably the biggest douchebag in all of professional sports. See, I agree with the last half. I mean, as, as far as him being a, being a D, I, but I don't know about all professional sports. It's, well, yeah, it's, it's, that's it's a, way there's too a far. lot of contestants it's a, it's for that. Way too far. That title. Way too far. I, like I said, I, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, it's. Is it a bit much? Yes, you are absolutely correct. Yeah. It's a bit much. Okay, but, but not, not but, necessarily disrespectful in no. all sports. And, and listen, man, you, the weirdest things rally teams and squads together. If 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 him against Detroit was what rallied them together, so be it, man. Carry the man off and 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 do it again next week with New England. Carry somebody else off. There's a dash of bitter in here, right? Oh, there's a lot of bitter in yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Four seven six one zero four five. Matt on the Zapone phone. Go ahead, Matt. Hey guys, I love the show. Thank hey, you. Thanks, man. Um, I'm a Bills fan. I love when you talk about the Bills. Uh, I grew up in Buffalo. Hey, I think we're having a great season. I love what Schwartz is doing with the defense. But honestly, I I couldn't help but kind of chuckle at the whole thing. I thought it was a little much. I, you know, it was kind of uh, kind of like Rudy, you know, like at the end of the movie. 
And and I think people are going to look at the Bills like, all right, guys, you won a game, you didn't win the Super Bowl. You know, I hope they, uh, you know, still take us seriously after that. I kind of wish they didn't do that. But, um, you know, the way Schwartz rallied the troops over the week with the whole chain, they have this whole thing where they put chains together. And I think bringing the team together is what we're going to do. Building, um, and we're seeing some positive results. Yeah, I mean, but that's, you know, Golden Tate, you you had a day, man. Go out there and be like, listen, I don't know why you're carrying a guy off. I had seven grabs, 134 yards, and a touchdown. Maybe you say something like that, not you know, it's disrespectful. It, is this, it, wasn't, it wasn't disrespectful. Uh, he says he's going to go grab. If he wouldn't have gotten fine, he, he would have pulled never him down. Done, please. Have you seen Marcel Darius? See, Marcel Darius has no neck. He goes head to shoulders. He is a beast. You and, are not snatching anything from that man. And there is a factor of this guy always runs his mouth when he doesn't have to. Golden Tate, he's a little wanker himself.